good morning and welcome to your week of miracles god bless you i am so expectant for what it is that the spirit of god is going to do this morning we give god all the praise for the many miracles um that have that we are seeing god do um and uh we are now at 1006 miracles testimonies we have been counting since uh august of last year so in just a little bit uh over a year. good morning beautiful sandy god bless you in just a little bit over a year we've counted over a, over a thousand miracles isn't that god awesome hey josh my brother hey a sister i didn't see your name hey apostle tim god bless you good morning good morning everybody good morning geneva god bless you hey diane love you so much good morning yes sandy knows the drill thank you for sharing sandy hey nora chamberlain good morning yes nicole good morning praise the lord i love that that's a wonderful greeting that's always a good place to start <laughs> good morning apostle team it's been a while god bless you good morning robert hartgrove it looks like god bless you ronna stitt good morning i'm taking a moment to greet everybody and then we're gonna go ahead and get started hallelujah our god is so awesome god bless you jessica welcome good morning keisha good morning keisha johnson god bless you my sister sarju it looks like good morning elizabeth i will lay god bless you all the way from nigeria we have the nations watching isn't that awesome hey josh good morning my brother hey Adon adonis taking a moment to greet everybody jessica good morning nisa good morning god bless you jennifer welcome 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 linda good morning it's gonna take about 30 seconds to just say hi to everybody hey ruth good to see you god bless you hey anna god bless you i love that name anna natalia i love you good morning god bless you yes nicole thank you for sharing love you god bless you hey amzy good morning welcome 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 yes you could do the breakthrough yeah we're stepping into it this morning i believe that i was just telling everybody before we jumped on that we now have thank you anna for sharing god bless you for sharing the broadcast yeah hey beautiful nora god bless you uh hey adonis god bless you we now have recorded uh 1006 miracles isn't god awesome just our little media family hello from northern ireland uk god bless you from malaysia wow the nation tell us where you're watching from god bless you um nisa god bless you love you isn't that awesome that uh danita i love you girl family love you uh isn't that awesome that uh we we just a little family coming together every week we've seen cancer healed we've seen uh we've seen uh people become pregnant we have five testimonies of women that couldn't get pregnant that became pregnant just praying on the broadcast a couple of weeks ago we saw a deaf ear or oh, so somebody's ear to pop open hallelujah hey miranda so we are at 1006 uh testimonies the reason why i'm counting uh first of all to give all the glory to god uh the second reason why i'm counting is because the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy and so when i'm when i'm testifying i'm actually prophesying to you let me take another 30 seconds to greet everybody welcome 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 as you join i can feel the excitement in the room hallelujah isn't our god awesome prophet oyinda good morning god bless you our god is awesome our god is awesome we just thank you miranda i love you so much woman god y'all follow uh yeah just type that up follow perfect uh uh miss uh, perfect miranda if you don't follow her from india welcome god bless you just type that up 1006 miracles testimonies god is awesome hey crystal love you hey yashika looks like god bless y'all god is awesome we've seen some amy i love you so much when do i get to see you i just feel like i need to meet we need to meet it's it's time it's been way too long and uh we've been having this friendship and, and sisterhood for way too long we need to actually meet okay amy rogers <laughs> love you from lake mary florida i love you danita god bless you danielle good morning god bless you we give God all the praise. Hey, Taj, love you. God bless you. We give God all the praise. As you jump on this morning, I want you to type out that there is a giant. Hey, Catherine, God bless you. Type out, there is a giant size miracle with my name on it. Thank you, God. Jacqueline, God bless you. Type it out. There is a giant size miracle. Yes, 1,000 miracles and six miracles. We praise the almighty God. As you jump on, type out, there is a giant size miracle with my name on it, on its way to me today. Good morning, Prophet Inda. God bless you. Type it out. There is a giant size miracle with my name on it, 
on its way to me today. I have a word in my spirit. And I already preached myself happy, okay? Have you ever prepared for a message? Good morning, Amsley, Prophet Amsley. God bless you. Have you ever have you ever prepared for a message and and <laughs> and you got happy even before you preached the message? Like just getting ready for the message. You began to get excited. Hey, Nate, good morning. Get ready for the message. You began to get excited uh, because you know what is about to happen. <laughs> because you know that God's people are about to get blessed. That's what happened this morning. I was getting ready. I could, I could, I could not wait to get on the broadcast this morning because I was like, God, I cannot wait to release this word uh, to the people of God. Hallelujah. So we give God all the praise. Hey, Leon, God bless you, my brother. Hey, Catherine, love you. Grow up family. God bless you. Nate, we have a lot of girl family watching this morning hallelujah we always do anyways <laughs> they want to support their sister hallelujah and so just start that up this morning because i want to release a word the lord told me that uh a number of you have been facing a giant size opposition hallelujah but god is going to take the giant size opposition and he's going to turn it into a giant size opportunity to bless you hallelujah hey deborah cook love you it's been a while love you so much um I heard the Lord say this morning when I was getting ready that he's going to take the giant size opposition and he's going to turn it into a giant size opportunity to bless you. Hallelujah. So we give God all the praise. Uh, lots of miracles have been taking place. I'm going to share about one or two before I jump into the word this morning. Uh, a man of God, really, him and his wife are like my best friends. And uh, they have been believing God. I know y'all don't know them, so you won't be able to figure out who it is. Uh, but uh, they have been believing God for a building for a long time and they were believing God for $30,000 and this weekend he called me he said Agnes are you sitting down okay that's usually a good sign he's like are you sitting because what I'm about to tell you if you're not sitting you're gonna fall down <laughs> and so I said yes I'm sitting and we have been praying to God for 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 his finance for their financial breakthrough and he said Agnes he said I was looking at the offering last week and he said somebody sold a seed of $10,000 and so I started screaming he said wait 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 you screaming too early he's like wait girl wait calm down calm down. So I said, okay. So I took a deep breath and he said, he went to look again and somebody else has sold another seed of $9,000. And so I'm screaming. He's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're getting excited way too quickly. He's like, he went to look a third time and somebody else had sold $10,000. So in one day they were able to raise the funds that they needed for their new building. Hallelujah. These are the type of miracles that we are seeing coming through for our immediate family that we're seeing coming through for our loved ones. A couple of weeks ago, uh, we had somebody's ears pop open on the broadcast. The reason why I start out the broadcast sharing that is just so that you know that you know you have as you jump on the broadcast this morning, as I'm prof as I'm testifying to you, I'm actually prophesying to you about what God is about to do in your life in Jesus' mighty name. So tie that out one more time as you join. Tie that out. I'm next in line. I'm next in line for a mega miracle. What I heard the Spirit of God say. Hey, Becky, God bless you. Hey, Eve, love you. What I heard the Spirit of God say is that many are standing at the brink of their biggest breakthrough, but have encountered, you can feel free to share the broadcast at any time, okay? Let's get the room filled up, amen. Many are standing at the brink of their biggest breakthrough, but have encountered unusual warfare and experienced unusual opposition. Hallelujah. Tiosa, good morning. God bless you from Nigeria. That's a Nigerian name. He said, the Lord said to me, many are standing <clears throat> at the brink of their biggest breakthrough, but I've encountered unusual warfare and experienced unusual opposition. <laughs> Can I just be real? Okay. Let me not just tell you like, this is something I saw in a movie five years ago. Okay. This was like me this last weekend. Okay. There's been some unusual warfare, but the Lord said, to me get ready because it's preparing you hallelujah uh, for uh, for an unusual breakthrough glory to God what the enemy intended for evil God is turning it around hallelujah uh, for a mega miracle so what I heard the spirit of God say is that many are standing at the brink of their breakthrough but I've experienced unusual opposition but I heard the Lord say that he is actually setting the stage don't worry He's setting the stage for a monumental, a monumental miracle uh, to take place in your life, even this week. Hallelujah. I heard the Lord say, 
that the massive mountains <laughs> shall give way to a monumental miracle. Somebody tag that out if you believe it. The massive mountains shall give way to a mega miracle. The massive mountains. Hey, Laurie, I love you. Grow family. Grow is uh, Nate and Christy Johnson's uh, school of ministry. Hallelujah. Lots of grow family watching this morning. Yeah, Catherine. Thank you, sister. Anyway, the massive mountains uh, shall give way to a monumental miracle in Jesus name. I declare today that, that the mountains, the barriers to your breakthrough uh, are coming down. I have a word in my spirit. The Lord gave me about David and Goliath and I cannot wait to release it to you. And then we're going to begin to declare and we're going to begin to decree and we're going to see those giants bow the name to Jesus. I don't know. Now, Goliath, now, how many of you know the story of Goliath? Israel had never seen a giant like that. The word of God says it was nine feet tall. Some of you watching this morning, you are facing an opposition that you feel like it's taller than you. <laughs> you feel like, hey, Lori, love you. You feel like it's bigger. You're like, this, this is a first. I, I ain't never seen nothing like this. Okay. Can I preach to myself for a second? Okay. You're facing mountains and you're saying, this is different. Hallelujah. But, but God is actually setting you up robo shop for a giant size miracle. Hallelujah. I declare today that the mountains, the barriers, hallelujah, to your breakthrough are coming down. Can you somebody just stop it out if you believe that this morning? Hey, Shana, I love you from Red Church. If I'm, I just want to make sure I'm speaking to the right crowd this morning. Anybody facing any type of opposition this morning? Anybody facing a mountain? I want you to type it out this morning. The giant size opposition is coming down. Deuteronomy 2 verse 2 says, Then the Lord said to me, Welcome everybody, God bless you. If I didn't see your name, God bless you. Thank you for joining us today. Deuteronomy 2 verse 2 says, Then the Lord said to me, Love you too. The Lord said to me, You have been around this mountain long enough. When I was getting ready for the broadcast this morning, the Lord said to me, daughter, he said, I want to break cycles this morning. Too many people watching this morning, many of us, can you see how I said us? Many of us have been uh, 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 in a cycle. Robots, uh, you feel like you keep going around, you're thinking, uh, uh, you, you, you sound really similar to a problem I faced five years ago. You sound really similar to something that came against me three years ago. Many watching this morning, uh, are facing, uh, are being in a cycle. Somebody watching uh, a cycle of lack. Somebody, well, hey, Brad, love you. God bless you. So I hope you're feeling better. Somebody watching a cycle of lack. Somebody watching, and I hope Pamela is feeling well uh, as well. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody watching is a cycle of lack. Somebody else watching is a cycle of sickness. Somebody else watching is a cycle of failure. But the Lord is saying, Deuteronomy 1 verse 7, you have been at... <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. I always love how Crystal always blesses me during the broadcast. Thank you. God bless you, Crystal. I multiply to you a million fold in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy 1 verse 7, you have been at this mountain long enough. Break camp and move hallelujah break camp and move i know that translation says you have been at this mountain long enough resume your journey some people have been so overwhelmed by the opposition of the last season that you actually hit a stalemate it's like you pause it's like you're kind of not admiring but almost in awe of the opposition feeling like that's the big one <laughs> i don't know if i can pull through this hallelujah deuteronomy 1 verse 7 okay glad to hear you're feeling better Right. You know what I mean? One verse seven said, You have been at the smacking long enough. Break camp and move. Hallelujah. Resume your journey. Advance. And what I heard the Spirit of God saying that the giants are no match for the Almighty God. Somebody type it out this morning. The giants, uh, Catherine, God bless you. She said all three for me. Hallelujah. I believe there will be a divine reverse. Um, the cycles are breaking this morning in Jesus' name. The giants are no match. Hey, Prophet Elaine, God bless you. We got to start over. Prophet Elaine just joined. Love you. The giants are no match for the almighty God. Some of you right now, the evil that the enemy had planned against you, God, this is what I heard the Lord say today, that the evil that the enemy had planned against you, God will turn it around and cause it 
to position you, robot shall, and cause it to position you for greatness and prosper you in a way that you have never imagined. Glory to God. Let me say that again. The evil that the enemy had, had caused to come against you, God will turn it around and cause it to position you for greatness and prosper you, hallelujah, like you have never imagined in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that this morning, type it out or capital letters. There's a giant size miracle with my name on it, hallelujah. Psalm 18 verse 34 says, it trains my hands for war. <laughs> it's not fun, I know it. You'd rather live a quiet life, I know it. You'd rather be without the challenges, I know it, <laughs> but this is what's going on. Now, God didn't cause it, but God is going to orchestrate it to train your hands for war. So he says, it trains my hands for war. Love it too. He trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, Rebe Babosa. Psalm 18, 29 says, by God, I can crush an army. Hallelujah. Somebody watching this morning, you feel like an army has come against you. By God, I can crush an army. By God, I can run through a troop. Robosa. By God, I can leap over a wall. Hallelujah. Shout it out if you can, wherever you are. There's a giant size miracle with my name on Psalm 18, 29, coming to David and Goliath in a second, just kind of setting the state. Glory to God. Because somebody this morning is about to walk into victory. Somebody this morning is about to see the giant size obstacles give way to your giant size miracle in Jesus' name. Psalm 18, 29, saying, by God, I can crush an army. By God, I can run through a troop. Hello, Prophet Jason. Happy birthday to you. I sent you a birthday prayer. Love you so much. And Miss Jenny, God bless you. Y'all are my family. Love y'all. So 18, 29 says, by God, I can crush an army. By God, I can run through a troop. By God, I can leap. Woo! I'm about to start praying because I feel the power of God so strong. By God, I can run through a troop. By God, I can leap. I'm about to take off running. I feel the glory of God on this broadcast. By God, I can crush an army. Somebody watching this morning, you feel like an army has come against you. By God, I can crush an army. By God, I can leap over a Wow. I hear that spirit of God say that this is the morning of divine empowerment. God is going to empower you to defeat the giants. Hallelujah. God is going to enable you to access your giant size promise. And there is also a giant size promotion. This is what I heard the Lord say that that's what the fight has been about. That because you are on the verge. I received the promotion this week, by the way, last week. Uh, but the Lord said to me, that's what the fight has been about. Hey, Kelly, love him. That's what the fight has been about. That's what the battle has been about. Because you're stepping into a season of a giant size promotion. Hallelujah. Talk to me, David. David was unknown. David was in the backside of the wilderness. David was taking care of sheep. Hallelujah. But David knew his God. Is there anybody watching this morning that even in the midst of the battle, even in the midst of the opposition, you are postured yourself before the Lord. You know the Lord. And the one of God says, the people that know their God, Rabbi Sakayalando, the people that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Is there any, I just want to make sure I'm speaking to the right group. Is there anybody watching this morning you were born for exploits. That's why you were created. That's why you were positioned. Talk to me, Esther. You have been created for such a time as this. Hallelujah. David, I, I didn't count on the bear. David, I didn't count on the lion. But David, I never encountered Goliath. But it was the moment where David encountered Goliath. David, God was about to catapult him to national prominence. God was about to catapult him to a place of influence. Somebody watching this morning, I feel like I need to encourage you. Don't quit. Don't give up. God is about to catapult you. The unusual opposition is because there's uncommon promotion coming to you. Because David said to his brothers, I'm getting ahead of myself this morning. They, and we're going to start praying here in a little bit. David said to his brothers, is there not a cause that somebody watching this morning?
this morning. There is a cause in your spirit. Hallelujah. A nation is depending on your standing. Your world is depending on your standing. Hallelujah. That's why the opposition has been so intense. But I feel like I need to encourage you this morning as you're standing at the brink of bread too. Don't give up. No. Don't quit. No. Get up and fight. Get up and pray. Get up and walk. Get up and declare in the authority of Jesus' name because families are depending on your standing. Generations are depending on your standing. Oh, they will thank you one day that you did not quit. They will thank you one day that you did not give up. It's not just about you. That's why it's been so tough. It's not just about you. It's about the nations you're carrying in your womb. Talk to me, Prophet Elaine. It's about the nations you're carrying in your spirit. Oof. I could, I could just close there, right there. I preach myself happy. I'm encouraged. I hope you are. <laughs> Glory to God. If you haven't shared the broadcast yet, let's just take a moment. I'm about to go into the story of David and Goliath here in a second. Woo-hoo. Y'all begin to pray. The Spirit of God is heavy on this plate. Supernatural infusion of strength. There are many watching. I've been feeling that for a long time. That I've just been weary because you're like, I'm facing something I've never faced before. Can I just be honest? Sometimes I get scared. Can I just be real? God, what is going on? God has been so good. I can sit here literally for days and tell you the goodness of God. But sometimes in going to a new level, my mother said battle is the seed for territory. So sometimes when you're taking territory, you start facing things you've never walked through before. You start, you know, but the Lord said to me, hallelujah, Caleb Sata. Uh, uh, it's not necessarily new levels, new oppositions, but it's new levels, new opportunities for you to be blessed. So take a moment, family, right now, before I go into the story of Goliath and David for just a couple of minutes, and then we're going to begin to pray. I want everybody watching to go ahead and share the broadcast. Let's just take a moment and share it. I know you're not the only one that needs this message today. I know you're getting blessed, hopefully, but you're not the only one that needs the message. So go ahead and share it. That's awesome. Eve, birthing. Hallelujah. Everybody, go ahead and share the broadcast and do type out hashtag shared because when somebody see you're sharing, they're going to be encouraged to share. That's why I always tell y'all to do that. So the broadcast as a city to somebody's life. Hallelujah. The word of God says that he that waters will also be watered himself. So go ahead and let's share the broadcast. I'm about to get into the word of God. This is not even my message. Well, it is part of my message. But go ahead and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Let's do it as a family uh, this morning. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is here. Holy Spirit, we walk coming into this place. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. <clears throat> Everybody go ahead and share the broadcast before we move forward this morning. <clears throat> I know somebody on your page needs to be encouraged. You might be saying, you might be saying, at least I just have one person on my page. Thank you, Becca, for sharing. Love you, Becca. Uh, you might be saying, at least I just have one person on my page. So that one person, it might be the difference between life and death. Crystal, thanks for sharing. Barry, it looks like, thanks for sharing. Eva, thank you for sharing. I'm about to jump into the word in a second. <clears throat> Glenda. Thank you for sharing. Rob and Lisa, thank you for sharing to grow. My girl, family, God bless you. Linda, thank you for sharing. Y'all can share to the pages you're a part of. You can feel free to do a watch party with your friends. Shauna Favors, thank you for sharing. I love your last name, by the way. Michelle, thank you for sharing the broadcast. Caroline, thank you for sharing. God bless you. Lori, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody share. Hallelujah. Let's invade Facebook as an army this morning. I want to release this word in my spirit. Roger, thank you so much for sharing. God bless you. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Holy Spirit, we welcome you upon this broadcast. We ask you to have your way. We ask you to have your way even on the broadcast this morning. Thank you, Amy. God bless you. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to move. I feel in my spirit that so many watching this morning our face and thank you Ian. I feel in my spirit this morning that so many watching are facing giant sized warfare, giant sized opposition. God, I thank you that this morning the giants will fall. They will fall. The giants will fall in the name of Jesus. Spirit of living God, I cannot do this without you. Thank you for the 1006 miracles that are taking place. 
on the broadcast within the last year that you have instructed me to keep a record of what it is that you are doing. I give you all the praise. I as a I as a woman cannot work a miracle, but you with us, God, you with us as a family, you have done all things well. You have done all things well. And so this morning, God, anybody watching that is in need of a miracle, anybody watching, standing in the need of you to move, I ask you, mighty God, to move in an uncommon way. Who I feel the wind of the Spirit of God even right now. I ask you, God, to move in an unusual way, God, like never before. Hallelujah upon this broadcast. And let our lives never remain the same. I feel the power of God right now. Let our lives never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Somebody watching this morning, type it out. Welcome, Holy Spirit. And then after you do that, yes, if you need a miracle, you can type it out. We're going to begin to pray here in a second. But I want to release this word. Y'all, this has never happened to me, okay? And, and just bear with me, okay? I just, I'm excited about what God is about to do. Welcome if you just joined us. God bless you. <clears throat> I was getting ready for this broadcast and I started getting happy. I started getting happy because I know that there are so many watch. Some of you have talked to me. Some of you have reached out to me. I've prayed for your children. I've prayed for your marriages. I've prayed for your families. I've prayed for your finances. And I know there are people watching this morning that need God to move. And so when the Lord gave me this word, I began to dance. I was so happy. I almost took off running. I know I do that a lot. I was happy because of what it is that is about to take place in your life. So first Samuel 17, really quickly, I'm going to speak to you for about five minutes and then we're going to begin to pray and then we're going to begin to see the giants fall. We're going to begin to access our miracle. Who is ready this morning? Say I'm ready. Hallelujah. First Samuel 17. Now David had killed a bear and David had killed the lion and suddenly a giant sized opposition was facing David and his nation. Now, I want you to realize the spirit that David had. Because the word of God says the key of David is the key that unlocks doors. So I'm about to give you a key that David had that is going to unlock you into your season of breakthrough. Everyone else saw the giant-sized opposition. But because David had been trained, this is what the Lord said to me this morning. Everyone else saw, <clears throat> love you too, Eve. Everyone else saw the giant size opposition. But because David had been trained to take territory, David had been trained to take the victory. David was ready. Others saw opposition, but David saw opportunity. Somebody is seeing an opposition right now that you've never seen before. But God is seeing an opportunity. The word of God, I was talking to a preacher one day. We had gone out to dinner and he was telling me I was going through something very difficult. He said, Agnes, he said, Mary and Martha, they knew Jesus as the healer until Lazarus died. Rebo secrebande. Then they knew him in another level. They knew him as the God who could raise the dead. Somebody watching this morning, your whole destiny is about to morph. You have known God at one level, but God is about to unveil himself to you this morning. He's about to unlock his goodness to you this morning. Hallelujah. So others saw opposition, but David saw opportunity. And I heard the Lord say this morning that, hey, Kivan, God bless you. I heard the Lord say this morning that the man, Mr. Thelma, I love you. Lots of family joining. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to preach, but I'm greeting family as well. I'm multitasking. The max, I heard the Lord say this morning that the massive opposition is going to turn into a mega opportunity for God to bless you. The mess, okay, somebody that believes that, just type it out. Now, if you're not going through anything, you don't have to type it out, okay? <laughs> okay, somebody that is going through something this morning, that is needing God to move, just type it out. The massive opposition is going to turn into <clears throat> a mega opportunity for God to bless you. Hallelujah. Good morning, God bless you. First Samuel 17 verse 1. 
it, as you jump on, go ahead and share the broadcast. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now the Philistines are going to begin to pray in a second. <laughs> this is the word of God this morning. I finally come to my message. Okay, I'm going to preach to you for about three minutes and we're going to begin to pray. I don't usually preach long. Maybe. Now the Philistines gather forces for war. The Lord said to me this morning that there's somebody watching. Is there anybody watching this morning that you feel like there's been a gang up? It's not just one attack. It's like you look over here. It's like, my God, there's an attack from here. You look over here like, wow, that too. Okay. You look over here like, oh my goodness, what's going on? The Philistines gather their forces for war. And they assembled, ha, yeah, that's right, Captain. They assembled at Soko, I think. That's the best you're going to get from that Hebrew pronunciation. Some of you are watching this morning and you feel like there have been forces gathered <clears throat> against you. A number of challenges against you, unusual. Financial challenges, family challenges, health challenges. And it says, Israel also, Israel drew up a battle to meet the Philistines. So this morning, we're about to go into battle. But we're not going to battle to fight for victory. Borobosa. We're going to battle to fight from victory. Because 2,000 years ago, a man died the death of a slave. Hallelujah. And he says, thanks be to God. Who always, Rebosa, thanks be to God. I'm about to take off running. Thank you, Jesus. Thanks be to God who always gives us the victory. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph. Hallelujah. So it said, 1 Samuel 17, I think verse 4. It says, a champion named Goliath came out of the Philistine rank to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall now can i pause for a second and talk to somebody this morning who is facing a giant that you feel like okay this one is taller than me <laughs> how many how many people watch that i've ever seen a nine foot tall human being all of a sudden gave it i've been used to a battle who i'm sorry my spirit is getting so excited because there's a victory about to take place in your life Yelebo sata jesus david had faced the giant uh, the lion David had faced the bear. Now, the lion is big, but the lion is your height. A bear is big, but I don't, I don't know that bears are usually, like, you know, taller than you. All of a sudden, David is facing something that his nation is dependent upon his yes. If somebody watching this morning, the battle really has not been about you. It's because somebody watching, there's a nation. There's a generation. That is depending on your yes. There's a generation that is waiting on your victory. That's why you can't die. That's why you may have been sick in your body, but you can't die. I don't know what the doctor said, but you cannot die. That's why you're not going under because there's a generation that is depending upon your victory. And so David, all of a sudden he's facing this thing he's never faced before. It's nine foot tall. I know, right? They need the number nine. Birth the new. That's right. Is there anybody watching this morning that you're facing something you're like, okay, this is bigger than me. I'm coming to my, I'm coming to the end in a second and we're going to begin to pray. Whoo, shakarabasa. It says a champion. That means he was skilled. <laughs> this is not something you can just get rid of with your strength. He was skilled in battle. A champion named Goliath came out of the Philistine rank to face the forces of Israel. He was over nine feet tall. Psalm 69 verse 1 says, Save me, O God, for the waters have come up to my neck. Somebody watching this morning is facing something that you feel like, God, I feel like I can't breathe. Is that somebody watching this morning? It's come up to my neck. Psalm 18 verse 7 says, he rescued me from a powerful enemy, from those who were too strong for me. Is there somebody watching this morning, facing something, you feel like, I'm giving it all I got. I, I prayed in tongues, I fasted. I did the midnight watch. I, I took communion. I forget, I did an inner healing. It still don't seem to move. David said, here I'm God deliver me from those who are too strong for me. Verse 5, was talking about Goliath. It says Goliath had a bronze helmet. So this opposition was fortified. 
Yana man zilibaka. It says David it says Goliath had a bronze helmet to his head and wore a coat of, of armor of bronze weighing 500 shekels. Now you and I both have probably never seen that before. Some weighing that big. This means that without the help of God, Israel was pretty much dead. There's somebody watching this morning that you are saying, God, if you don't come through, I don't have a plan B. But here's the good news this morning. God is about to come through for you. We're going to begin to pray in a second. Hey, Rose, my sister from Nigeria. God bless you. A biological sister. Hallelujah. So David was facing something that without the help of God, this could never be conquered. It says Goliath had bronze around his head, uh, 15 or some shekels, 5,000 shekels. How do you, I can't even imagine. Then it says he had the bronze armor on his leg. I mean, you can't hit the thing from anywhere. Psalm 18 verse 29 says, by God, I can crush an army. It means that no matter what the opposition is, hallelujah. Yes, Kim, you can't die. She said the doctors told her that she's going to die. You can't die in Jesus' name. Psalm 18, 29 says, by God, I can crush an army. Hallelujah. Long story short, this thing was big. Hey, Jennifer, love you. This thing David was facing was big. Hallelujah. But here's the deal. He, it was defying the nations of Israel. Is there somebody watching this morning that has had something that has defied your bloodline? This morning, generational cycles are going to be broken. You have something that has defied your bloodline. You have had something that has impacted your family. You have something that is impacting your city that you're angry about. That you're saying, God, I know that there is a way out. Hallelujah. So, long story short, David begins to ask. Hallelujah. First Samuel 17, 29, David says, they said, be quiet, David. What do you know? If you just joined us, go ahead and share the broadcast. Hallelujah. I'm almost done preaching. And we're going to begin to pray right now in Jesus name. God bless you for watching first time. Thank you for joining. David said, first Samuel 17, 29, is there not a cause? There is something that God has placed on the inside of you that they all of hell. I literally was telling my roommates, uh, I was telling her about some of the things I was walking through, some of the victory I had seen, some of the things that, you know, some of the opposition. And I said, I said, devil, what are you scared of? What are you so scared of? Why are you fighting so hard? Some of you are wondering this morning, what's this battle about? <laughs> Sorry, I just hit my wall. What's this battle about? He's terrified because there's an ability to change a generation that is on the inside of you. Hallelujah. First Samuel 17, 29. David said, is there not a cause? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like Joseph, he had gone through so much because he was actually destined to impact his globe. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There are those that are watching this morning, you're destined to impact your globe. Hi, your world. Hi, Ebet. God bless you. I'm almost done there. We're going to begin to pray. And I've said that about seven times. Hallelujah. So verse 44, David goes out before Goliath. Hallelujah. Goliath begins to breed threats against David. Somebody watching this morning, you can't, there's even somebody watching, you can give me a hands up emoji because I want to pray for you. You can't, you haven't been able to sleep in a while because the enemy has been breeding. Yeah, that's it, Jennifer, witchcraft. The enemy has been breeding threats against you. The enemy has been threatening to destroy you. The enemy has been saying, this is the big one. You're going under. Hallelujah. It says that the, the, the Goliath was threatening Israel. Hallelujah. But David said, you come against me with a sword and a spear. But I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. The Lord of heaven's armies whom you have defied. Hallelujah. He said, this is the key family. I'm about to give you a key. Then we're going to begin to pray. I speak rest. A lot of you are saying you have not been able to sleep. I speak rest in Jesus name. David said, David could have been afraid. This is the, this is the difference family. This is the key. I want to encourage you this morning. I don't know how intense the battle has been, but do not be afraid. David came out against this terrifying giant. David was a little boy. And David said, you come against me with a sword and spear. But I come against you this morning. I declare, begin to type out your prayer request, family. And begin to pray over yourself and pray over one another. And this is what we're saying to the opposition. You come against us with a sword and spear.
You come against us, Orobosa, but we come against you. Ila Maronde Beke, in the name of the Lord of hosts, we come against you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies. It says this day, that means today. That means even within the next 24 hours in the authority of Jesus' name. It says this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hands and I will strike you down and cut off your head. Can I preach and prophesy to somebody watching this morning that no matter what the opposition that faced you, that this day, the almighty God will deliver the enemy into your hand. And you will cut down, you will strike. Now, I'm not talking about any human being. I always like to clarify when I get to this point, okay? Y'all don't be killing people and saying, the preacher said, we could kill you, okay? Don't don't be having me on News Channel 9. Okay, I know it's not funny. We're, we're in a serious moment, but I always like to clarify, okay? Don't, don't get a gun and be like, Agnes said, go kill you. I didn't say that. I'm talking about spiritual enemies, okay? I'm talking about spiritually. Hallelujah. And so, this day, I will strike you down. And cut off your head. Hallelujah. So we're talking about in the realm of the spirit. I like to clarify you. Amy, you, you got my back, right? You heard me, okay? I'm not talking about natural people. Hallelujah. Now, there are times where God will shift natural relationships. And sometimes it even bring an end. But I'm talking about the opposition because the word of God says we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, girl, you know that. I got to clarify with, you know, you know, because I mean, we, you know, amen. Hallelujah. Let me come back to the word. Let me get serious. This day, <laughs> the Lord will strike you down. That's what the Lord, that's what was said to the opposition. This day, the Lord will strike you down. And cut up your head. Hallelujah. Can I declare? Begin to type out your prayer requests, family. Because I want to begin to pray over you. Thank you, Athena. Sir. Type out your prayer requests. Begin to pray for yourself. If you just joined us, walk. Come make sure you watch the replay. Hallelujah. Because we've been building up until now. Many have been facing giant size opposition. But here we're going to pray for a few minutes. And we're going to see the giants fall. Thank you, Amy. We're going to see the giants fall. Yereba Kondre, Yereba Kawa, Delebe Kashke, Doruba Saya, David said. You come against me with a sword and a spear, but I come against you in the name of the Lord of hosts. I decree and declare in the authority of Jesus' powerful name. Yelebo Kondre, Yeleba Kawa, Derebo Sataraba Sata, and every opposition that has come against you. Yelebo Kondre Beke, Darabakandra Bakaka, Ribo Sketewa, in Jesus' mighty name, that the Almighty God, Robosa, who empower you to crush an army in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is why it says so that all will know there is a God in Israel. Here within the next few minutes, family, there is a miracle about to take place in your life that all will know. Delebo Sata, Delebo Sewa. Oh, they will give God thanks. They will give God thanks because of your breakthrough. Right now, I want you to type out your prayer requests. Family, I sense in my spirit this morning that there are a number of you watching that are number hundred and number that are saying, God, I don't know if you don't come true, I don't know how I'm gonna break through. If you don't come true, I don't know how I'm gonna break through. Type out your prayer request this morning, and wherever you are, forget who is watching the broadcast this morning. I want you to begin to call out to the Almighty God. I want you to begin to cry out to God like you never have before. Because the Lord said to me that I will fight for my people this morning. And that which has come against you, the unusual attack that's come against you. The Lord said this day, I will give the Philistine into your hand. The Lord said this day, the giants will fall. The Lord said this day, at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Reba sakan teleba. Aye tauska. Riantoze. Dezuana. Diria. Oh, are there any warriors watching this morning? Are there any intercessors watching this morning? I feel a strong spirit of intercession in the room. So I want you to begin to pray. Type out your prayer requests. And after you type out your prayer requests, I want you to pray like you never have before. Then I want you to pray for somebody this morning. 
God, your people are in need of you to move. I love that song by Tasha Cobbs. It says, giants are still being slain. And then it says, we need a move. God, I cry out this morning on the behalf of every single person watching that are at their wit's end. God, I cry out this morning on the behalf of those who are watching God. That are saying, if God don't come through, I don't know how. God knows I cried themselves to sleep. God knows that I've been oppressed. Father, you said in your word, these are people trapped in holes and no one is crying restored. God, I cry out this morning for your sons and daughters that are facing impossibilities and say, God, I need you to move. Almighty God, the God who said in your word, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too difficult for me? The God who said in your word, that humanly speaking, it may be impossible, but not with God, because with God, all things are possible. The miracle working God, the way maker, the promise keeper, I call on my God to move on behalf of everyone watching this morning, to move in the realm of impossibilities and cause them to become possible, to move on the behalf of every sick person this morning and cause them to become healed, to move on the behalf of every marriage at the brink of divorce, God, and bring restoration, to move on the behalf of every prodigal son and daughter and bring them back to their knees in Jesus, to move on the behalf of every financial situation, God, those who are just longing for you, and say, I need a fresh baptism. I feel so dry. Almighty God, I ask you to move this morning. Oh, have your way, Holy Spirit. Right now, if you are sick in your body, feel the power of God so strong. If you are sick in your body, I want you to try to do something you could not do. I feel like some of you already got healed. If you are sick in your body, I see somebody. I'm going to flow in a little bit for about one minute in word of knowledge. The word of knowledge is basically Jesus calling your name. Ah. Oh, I feel the power of God so strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah. A word of knowledge is basically Jesus saying, okay, it's calling your condition and saying, I want to heal you. Yeah, the veils are lifted. Y'all pray for a little bit. Pray. Pray over one another. Pray for yourselves and then pray over one another. Who the power of God is so heavy in this place right now. Um, somebody watching you have gum issues. Jennifer, I see the presence of God touching your mouth. I don't know if you've... Uh, I just see the presence of God touching your mouth right now. Hallelujah. Somebody watching, you've been having trouble breathing. I don't even know if you've had to do like some breathing treatment. Uh, if you are in any type of us, uh, if you are in any type of chronic pain, every week we have people healed from chronic pain. If you're in any type of chronic pain, have any type of breathing issues, I want you to stand up if you can and try to do something you could not do. Who the glory of God is so strong in this place. I can barely speak. Thank you, God. I want you to try to do something you could not do. And if you are 80% or more better, I want you to type out all capital letters, I am healed. And as you're getting healed, go ahead and share the broadcast if you have not. So other people can get healed as well. I believe about three people already got healed. People usually get healed even before we pray a prayer for healing. Hey, Candy, love you. God bless you. So I just lose the healing. Jane, okay, it's Jaina. Jaina, I lose the healing presence of God right now. So uh, try to test it out, family. A lot of times in the Bible, when Jesus heal people he would tell them to try to do something they could not do yeah healing is happening right now i feel like about five people just got healed so if you are 80 percent or more better if god is touching your body and you're 80 percent or more better i want you to type out all capital letters uh i am healed and i'm gonna pray for healing in a second but usually people start getting healed before we pray and i like to see that so you know that i'm not the one healing god is hallelujah yeah 
Try to do something you could not do. Try to move your neck. Try to stand up. Try to walk. Uh, somebody's having an issue with the tailbone. Try to sit down. Hallelujah. Somebody's having love you too, Candy. Somebody's having an issue in their chest. Try to take a deep breath. Hallelujah. Test it out. Are you healed yet? If you are healed 80% or more better, type out all capital letters, I am healed. Stephanie, good morning. Love you so much. Somebody already got healed. Kimberly got healed. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, don't type it out in faith because we're counting, okay? We've had, to the glory of God, 1,006 testimonies come through, and many of those are healing testimonies. So if you are two people just got healed, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, Mary, love you. Right now, I'm going to pray. Y'all keep praying over one another. We already had two people healed. Hallelujah. Sundere Bosa. I believe about five more just got healed. Yes, even inner healing is taking place in Jesus' name. Two people we just got healed. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all keep praying over one another because it is the strength of your prayer and the power of God that makes the healing happen. Hallelujah. Keep praying. Two people already got healed. Check it out. Family, is any, anybody else get healed? Check it out. Try to move your body. Try to do something you could not do. Some of you are going to have to go to the doctor. The lady we prayed for that was healed from cancer, she had to go to the doctor. And the doctor said, I don't know what happened, but your blood work is normal. Hallelujah. Right now in Jesus' mighty name, I just pray over everyone. Uh, yeah, we come against fear. And Jesus, and three people just got healed. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just got healed partially. We just pray complete healing in Jesus' name. We stand upon the word of God that by the stripes of Jesus, you were made a whole in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree and declare in Jesus' path and that the healing presence of God is going through your body from the top of your head to the sole of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. We drive out the spirit of infirmity. We say, go from them in Jesus' mighty name right now. Somebody's chest is feeling better right now we lose the presence of god right now we lose the power of god in the name of jesus all right test it out one more time family test it out we already had three people healed Test it out. Tell us what God did to your body. Some of you, you can message me when your testimonies happen. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate with you. You can message me a prayer request as well. I want to pray with you. Hallelujah. Message me your testimony. Some of you are having financial testimonies. We've had financial testimonies in millions of dollars. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Rose. Three people already got healed. Yes, in Jesus' name. Anybody else got healed? Test it out. Somebody is breathing better. Somebody, you feel like something around your eyes. Your eyes is clearing up. Hallelujah. If you are just joining us, make sure you watch the replay. We're finishing up. Hallelujah. God moved mightily in our midst. We're so grateful to him. Yes, we're praying for your grandmother, um, your old mother, Diane. Hallelujah. Three people already got healed. Let's just give him thanks. Make sure you testify. Hallelujah. Let us know what God is doing. Three people already got healed. We give God thanks for that. Hallelujah. He is awesome. He is worthy to be praised. I declare in Jesus' mighty name that this is your week, uh, that you were experienced a giant sized miracle in Jesus powerful name we thank the almighty God for what he has done this morning hallelujah we bless anybody else get healed we already counted three did anybody else get healed? How, yeah, catch the replay. If you got healed on the replay, send us a message. Let us know uh, that God has healed you. God will give you all the praise. Somebody's chest. I feel like somebody's chest. Somebody feel a release in their chest. Hallelujah. God will give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Yes, complete healing in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Uh, Miss Thelma, did you get healed? Send me a message. Let me know if God healed you. She said, I. So I don't know if that means I am healed. So I'm not going to count that yet until uh, to post this to YouTube. I know, right? I, I was doing that, but then I, I got, I got, a, I'll, I'll start doing it again. Hallelujah. Nate Johnston actually uh, advised me to do some stuff on YouTube. Yeah. We pray for healing for Sheila. I pray for successful procedure in Jesus. The family be blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that this shall be your best week yet in Jesus. My name, share the broadcast if you already have not and expect that this is your week of manifestation in Jesus name. And I declare that this week you shall receive your giant size miracle in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. All right. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.